Alright guys, this is the Viperion here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video. This video will be a little bit different, it won't be a guide of some sort, but rather it's about regarding the upcoming Grand Prix. Now we finally have confirmation on what's gonna be happening after the next Grand Prix and about the contents that's coming to CTR. Now we have a lot to cover on this video, so let's cut to the chase. Now as you might already know, Activision has posted a new blog post onto their website. And as I'm speaking right now, I'm actually looking at the blog post. I'm gonna be summarizing the things that I feel that's important for you guys, so it won't take too much of your time. Now in the blog post itself, I think this line is the most important. They started off the paragraph with the following. Over the past 8 months, we've been incredibly proud of our seasonal offerings and we feel our next Grand Prix will be one of the best yet. Binox is known for going out with a bang and with the next Grand Prix on the horizon and we announced that it will be the last official Grand Prix for CTR Nitro Field. It's absolutely a bittersweet thing for us to announce that the next Grand Prix will be the last but at the same time we want players to know that the race isn't over. Now from rating this itself, I'm actually feeling a little bit bittersweet to be honest. Because on one end, the Grand Prix is actually a really good feature that pulls players in time and time again. It gives players or CTR that constant excitement of what the next Grand Prix will be. And I think the Grand Prix is actually the main reason why people keep coming back to CTR for more. Because the hype is always there. But on the other end of the spectrum, players are getting burnt out and overwhelmed by the Grand Prix being a monthly thing because they have that constant pressure of chasing for that Grand Prix team reward. Honestly, if you ask me, I would rather prefer the Grand Prix to go on as it gives players the excitement and guessing at what's coming next. The hype on CTR is always there and I guess you can say that I'm a big fan when it comes to the constant updates and content coming to a game as you don't really get to see that very often in a AAA title anymore. But to each of its own, I'm also glad that Binox is taking the rest that they deserve because they did so much for the players already and as long as new contents are still coming out even though it is not a Grand Prix anymore, I'm always down for it. Speaking of new contents, they mentioned in the blog post that numerous new contents will be coming out after the next and final Grand Prix and it's pretty damn interesting actually because they already gave us an idea of what the new content is. They mentioned in the post that a new ongoing challenge system will be added, new time trials to complete, new characters, skins and cards and also get this, including a new item that will be added into the game. Now they actually went into further details of these features starting with the new ongoing challenges. It is stated by Activision that it will be a brand new challenge system with the opportunity to earn extra Wumpa coins. We know that by doing challenges, we will usually earn Nitro points, which fills up the Nitro gauge in the Grand Prix. It seems that this time Wumpa coins will be given as a reward instead, and that's amazing, as we need more ways to earn Wumpa coins with the absurd amount of things to get from the pit stop right now. Challenges will also be relevant to all game modes, so players with wide variety of interests will be able to do the challenges as well. Daily, weekly, and monthly challenges will still be in the game, so you can farm for coins there as well. One thing that I'm really digging about is the ability to refresh the pit stop up to two times per day. This is awesome as we don't have to purposely wait for a full day for the pit stop to reset. Moving on to the new time trials, we finally have confirmation that developer times will be coming pretty soon as well. If you're wondering what the developer times are, it's basically Binox's team setting up their own personal times on each individual tracks. One key thing to highlight here is that a special reward will be given to those who have beaten developer time trials on all tracks. This is one that I'm most excited about as probably Emperor Velo will be the new special character that is only unlockable from this. Also, we finally have a confirmation as well that this new time trial will be much harder than Oxide. I personally am extremely excited for this feature alone. Newer and harder time trials means that the Ghost will now fully utilize every shortcut and racing lines in the game, and I'm eager to see how the community will respond to this briefed up version of Oxide. And now moving on, the additional planned post Grand Prix content. While there will be no more new Grand Prix, that doesn't mean that Binox is stopping there in terms of content. They have personally stated that new characters, new cards, legendary skins, recolors of legendary skins, new decals and also new paint jobs. Basically, customization for your characters are not stopping. This goes to show that Binox cares about the longevity of the game and is more than keen to keep delivering us with features that will keep us players coming back for more. Also, not much info about the new so-called items yet, but they did mention the following quote-unquote, including a long-awaited item item that we think fans will be very happy about. If I have to take a wild guess, it should be a form of a new ability item that you can get from crates, or maybe a new form of cosmetic as well, perhaps something like wings or pets. We don't know much about it yet, but let's keep an eye out for that. So what do you feel about this? Are you feeling sad that no more Grand Prix will be coming out after the next one? Or what do you think about the new items will be? Let's discuss in the comment section down below. This is the Viperian signing off, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.